hello everyone and welcome back to this video so in today's video tutorial i'm going to walk you step by step on how to trade crypto features or derivatives okay whether you know it as features trading or derivatives they are all the same thing but i'll be showing you how to trade okay using the bingers exchange and i'll tell you why i'm using bingers in a moment most especially for beginners all right so with this tutorial my aim is to help you to make at least hundred dollars every day or whenever you trade Okay, this all depends on your trading capital, all right, on the size of your trading capital and how much you are willing to risk, all right? So without further ado, let me quickly cite this example, right? We took this trade yesterday, okay, with the community. By the way, if you are not on Telegram, join us on Telegram. We share all of these free signals there every day, okay? Join us on Telegram and take advantage of all the signals that we share there for free, all right? So, and if you are new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe, hit that notification bell so that whenever I publish videos like this, you'll be the first to be notified. Okay. So we're waiting for the breakout and, um, you know, we took this trade yesterday. So, um, if for instance, you took this trade from that breakout right here. Okay. So right here, you'll see that this is up already without leverage by 33%. Okay. So it means if you have traded this on the spawn market, and you put in hundred dollars here, you would have been up by hundred and thirty three dollars, all right. And if you traded this on the futures market or the derivatives market, okay, and you put in hundred dollars here, all right, you would have been up by more than three hundred dollars plus, okay, using a ten x leverage. So you see that making money in crypto trading is not that difficult, okay. It doesn't have to be stressful, and this can only work when you are very patient with the market and when you know what you are doing. All right, so today's video tutorial we teach you how to trade features using the Binance Exchange. All right, this is Binance Exchange and it is beginners friendly. All right, so you need this exchange if you really want to make money trading crypto. All right, so uh, the link to sign up for a Binance Exchange will be in the video description and there are a lot of welcome bonuses for you, new users. So make sure you use the first link in the video description to sign up for an account and make sure you join us on Telegram, okay, to learn more. All right. So once we come in here to being as our focus is to trade derivatives of features, right? If I hover over derivatives, you see the different options we have here. Okay, we have the USDM um, perpetual features, okay, and then we have the coin M perpetual features. All right. This first one here, if you have USDT and it is USDT you want to trade, then select the USDM perpetual features. If you have Let's say Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, all those different coins, and you want to trade that against the dollar, okay? Then you want to select the coin M features. So here we use USDT, okay, to buy. And then here we use the coin itself that you want to trade to buy, all right? So then this other one that is standard features is if you want to trade Forex, you want to trade commodities, indices, and all of that, you can do all of that inside the Binance Exchange. All right, we'll do a separate video on this going forward. Okay, so I'll just go with the USDM feature, which is the first option there. Go ahead and click on that, and that will open up the chart for us. Now, once the chart opens up, okay, this is what we have. You can see I have some trades that are running here already. Okay, this is what we have. This is the trading interface. This is where you do your charting analysis, okay, to say, okay, I'm going to go long here. I'm going to go short here and all of that, all right? You can select your time frame from up here. All right, you see that I can choose between the one minute, okay, up to the weekly time frame. All right, and if I want to adjust that, I can click on the arrow here. All right, all of these ones that have the um, stars here, these are the favorite ones that I've selected. If I want to add this to, you know, be appearing here, all I just need to do is to go ahead and click on the star option to highlight that you see that the three day is showing up here, okay. So this way you don't need to always click on the arrow you always um, you just need to switch from here to here all right and you are good to go then up here you see the summary all right of um, the market you are trading all right the market price the index price all of this you see then the funding uh, rate countdown please always make sure you pay attention to this once this is very high and you are going to the opposite direction or or thereabout you will be you know paying a lot in fee Okay, then what else do I need to show you here? So the first thing you want to do once you are here is to select the token that you want to trade. Okay, so here where we have BTC USDT, you go ahead and click on it. And then here you can select any of the tokens that you want to trade. For instance, if I want to trade BNB, 
I can go ahead and type in BNB there and it brings up all the pairs, all the BNB pairs, all right? And all of that, you can go ahead and trade. Please make sure that once you're searching, you are on the USDM, you know, perpetual, not the coin M futures, okay? So make sure you're on the USDM perpetual option, all right? Then I can go ahead and select that. But let's use BTC for this example, right? So we can see the current price of BTC. We can see the other book here. All right, for sellers and for buyers, we can see all of that right here. Okay, then this is our trading panel. Here is our trading panel where we can come to open long or short. Now, once you select the coin that you want to trade, the next thing you want to do is to adjust your margin mode and your leverage. This is very, very important, most especially if you're a beginner. All right, so uh, I can decide to trade with cross margin. Now, if I click on this, you see that we have cross margin and then we have isolated margin. Explanation on how these things work are explained below, but let me just briefly say that with cross margin, okay, if I go ahead and trade with cross margin and I don't use stop loss and I get liquidated, all the money on my account will go. Okay, but if I use isolated margin and I enter a trade with $10, for instance, and I don't use stop loss and I get liquidated, it is only that $10 I will lose. Okay, but for cross, if I enter a trade even with $5 and I don't put stop loss, okay, and I get liquidated, I will lose the entire account. All right, that is how it works. Cross margin will allow you, give you more margin to stay in the market longer. Okay, and all of that, but isolated will just, once your your margin or your capital that you're using as collateral is exhausted, you will get liquidated. Liquidation is the exchange will forcefully close your trade, okay, so that you don't get to lose their own money. Because since we are trading with leverage, we are trading with borrowed funds, right? Okay, so that's basically how that works. What I will advise, okay, most especially for beginners, always be on the isolated margin option, all right? So let me just go ahead and change this to isolated for the purpose of this tutorial. And then um, I can decide to select leverage by clicking those numbers, okay, the 20x beside the isolated or cross margin. So here you can see that with BTC, I can go up to 125x leverage. Nobody is forcing you not to go to 125, but it is risky, right? So you can go up to 125x leverage. And um, let me just try 100x leverage, guys, and show you how this works, okay? So I try 100x leverage for long and then for short as well. Let me make that 100. Okay, so you see the warning here that the leverage is high and all of that we know. Okay, go ahead and click on confirm. And um, right here, okay, from what I'm seeing on BTC right now, okay, from what I'm seeing on BTC right now, I should be taking a long trade. I'm currently on the one hour time frame and I want to take a long trade on this, all right? So the next thing I want to do is down here, what do I want? Is it to open or to close? We are going to open, okay? So um, beneath it, you'll see your limit, okay, market, and then the other other types that you see right here, okay? But we'll go with the limit option and then we'll say want to enter BTC uh, long at 59, okay, 360. Currently, it's 59.377, so... And then what do we want to risk? Normally, the, here you will see it will always be um, by amount, okay, of the coin you want to buy. Okay, but I always like to use by the notional value in USDT, okay? So here I'll go ahead and put in, let's say, let me put in 200 USDT here. All right, once I type in 200 USDT here, remember that I'm using a 100x leverage, okay? So once I scroll down here, I can have the option to, you know, if I'm going long, I just check this to add tip profit, okay, and stop losses and all of that. If I'm going short, I will use this other option, okay, but I'm not going to do this for now. Let me just show you um, the summary here. So here is the summary of our trade. If I enter this trade at 59.360, okay, my liquidation, my estimated liquidation will be at 59.029, okay? 029, you see how close the liquidation price is? That is because I'm using a 100X leverage. That is why the liquidation price is this close, okay? Then the next thing here is the margin, all right? The margin in USDT. So it means for me to buy $200 or 200 USDT worth of BTC, because I'm using a 100X leverage, I only need to pay uh, around two, approximately two dollars, right? I approximately two dollars now because I'm using isolated margin, it is only this 1.96 dollars that I'm risking in this trade, 
okay that is what i'm risking in this trade so if i go ahead and click on open long once this market gets to 59.021 i get liquidated all right now if i change this isolated margin option to cross okay guys these things are very important all right it's not just about coming to open trades and all of that if i change it to cross margin okay um, you see that for long, if I open a long trade, the estimated liquidation price has gone off. It means that it's risking every amount that I have on my account. Currently, you see that valuable balance is 186. Okay, so it's risking everything I have on my account. Okay, even with the 100x leverage. All right, liquidation price is not there yet, but once the price starts going against me, once the market starts going against me, you will see a liquidation price in this. Okay, but for the short option, the estimated liquidation price is when this market gets to a hundred and forty-three thousand dollars. All right, that's when I will get liquidated if I'm shorting this market right now. Okay, but this means that I'm risking the entire account for this particular trade, and I don't want to take chances. All right, I don't want to take chances. Now, this is just an estimate. Okay, this one hundred and forty-three is just as an estimate because. The more the market continues to go against you, the more you keep reducing, taking money from your account. So at the end of the day, we may not get up to 140, maybe at 100K, we'll get liquidated and all of that. And then this other one that shows you that estimated liquidation price is zero. Once you enter the trade and the trade start going against you, eventually you will see liquidation price pop up. Okay. So don't be carried away that, oh, my liquidation price is zero and all of that. So I will not get liquidated. And you start trading it doesn't work like that because the more the market continue to go against you the more the exchange takes money from your account okay and add up it takes money from your account and add up so eventually liquidation price will just pop up all right and then before you know it you get a liquidation a lot and then eventually you get liquidated okay so to be on the safe side let's go back with that isolated margin okay now when we go back with isolated margin option if i come in here because i'm looking at opening a long trade and i select this option to enter a long trade just click on confirm once that pops up okay if i'm i'm estimating to take profit at 60 or let's say 61k okay so i'll just go ahead and say i want to take profit at 61,000. all right so if this market moves from this current price now to 61,000, well, that will give us around 276 percent now because we are risking just a dollar in this okay um we'll be making around five dollars back all right we'll be making around five dollars back Okay, then we can put our stop loss. Now, our liquidation price for this trade is around 59 or thereabouts. So we can decide to close this trade before it gets to 59 on the dot. Now, because it's just a dollar, I may not put stop loss in this. Okay, I may not put stop loss in this because I'm risking just that $2 that I'm entering this trade with. When you do this, you are okay. Okay, for those of you who will come and use this slider to the end, all right, if I go ahead and use this slider, now, if I start dragging this, you see that this is 50% of my account or 51% of my account. So look at the margin, okay? The margin here will be $90, all right? The margin here will be $90 and then my profit will be more. But if this market gets me liquidated, I'm losing the whole of this $90. Do you understand that? All right? So that's basically how that works. So I just clear this and then go ahead and type in that 200 that I have there. Okay, and then with the 100x leverage, I'm risking just um, just 1.96 dollars, and then our TP will be around 61k, and then we'll be making five dollars back. So I'll go ahead and open a long trade for this. Okay, and then it says that the price, all right, this notice here tells me that the price will be at market order because yeah, we want to enter at 59.360, but right now the price is 59.3. Um, 330 or 320 so let's just do 59 let's go ahead and do 59 250 for instance okay it's just for the purpose of this tutorial if not we we normally do our analysis on trading view just like you see this one currently going uh before we come in here to take some trades okay so for the purpose of this i'll do that okay and it will cost us again 1.96 and our liquidation will be around 58 900 so we'll go ahead and click on open long all right now once you click on open long this dialog box pops up and then when once this pops up you see the price we are entering you see the amount okay we are risking in usdt then this amount is equivalent to 1.96 of our own capital all right 
So we are buying $200 worth of BTC at $1.96. Okay, estimated liquidation price will be $58,910. And then that's basically then our TP will be around 61 k Okay, and all of that. So after that, you go ahead and click on the confirm option and that trade is placed. It is a limit order. All right, so it means that the price can only trigger when the market gets down here. Okay, now one thing you should understand briefly with limit orders is that if I'm buying, I cannot place a limit order to buy at a price that is above the current market price. Okay. So if, for instance, you say you want to buy BTC when a breakout happened around 59,600, and you go ahead and set a limit order, your order will be triggered immediately at market order because you cannot place a limit order above the current market price when you are buying. Okay. The same thing when you are selling, you cannot place a limit order below the current market price. Okay. When you are selling. So it is always you buy low and sell high or you sell high okay and buy low that's one thing you should understand with limit order all right then market order is with the current market price it just goes in with the current market price and you're out okay so that's basically how you do this this same thing that i've demonstrated here goes the same if you are doing with any other um any other coin here all right so please be careful and when you're trading some other altcoins that are not um, btc and the rest please be careful with the amount of leverage you use because you could be losing your entire account all right so that's basically everything you need to if you want to open a short trade you go ahead and open a short trade now that trade we place is, is pending you can see that i can come in here and drag here up and down okay to reposition this change the positioning and all of that okay i can equally come down here to the open orders right you see the open orders there you see the btc we just place i can come in here and i did this trade okay uh, the price i want you to feel that okay i can come in and set tps and stop losses and all of that these are all open orders pending orders that i have when the price gets to them okay to whatever that i've defined there that order will be triggered and then once your order trigger and it's running you will always see it on the position option so if i click on position you see that i currently have two trades that are running okay this is one um which is for rare okay and i'm all by 177 percent already and this is for not coin and as you can see i'm down by 23 percent already okay and for rare i risk only let me show you the margin that i use in this trade okay for rare um the margin is just five dollars and i'm all by eight dollars already okay and then for not coin the margin is around nine dollars okay and i'm done by two dollars already so you can go ahead add your tps and your stop losses and all of that you can control all your trades right here okay now for this particular trade that is running okay that is in profit if i decide to close half of that position all right i can come in here to where it says close position instead of using market i'll use the limit order option okay then i'll put the price at which i want to close this trade then I will now select if I want to close 50% of my trade, okay, 25% of my position or 50, 75% or 100%. If I close 100%, the entire position will be closed. If I close 50%, okay, it will close half of this, all right, and then the remaining half will be running, all right. So it means that out of the $9 here, I'll be going home with $4.2 and then the remaining one will be running. Then I can now move my stop loss, okay, to entry or to break even when they say move stop loss to entry or to break even what that simply means is that you will come in here to the you know position tp and sl option okay so if i come in here to edit this right and i go ahead and check the stop loss option if i want to add a stop loss all right to move my stop loss to break even it means that i'm moving my stop loss to this average open price that is the price we enter that trade at Okay, so moving my stop loss to 0 0.2449 is breaking even. So I just type in 0 0.2449 here and then my stop loss will be moved to the entry. So it means if I've closed half of my position already and then this market comes down to 0 0.2449, okay, to be closing at break even at the entry point and I'll be not, I'll, I won't be losing money. All right. Now, because we are already at 28, 0.28, I can equally move the stop loss to 0, um, 0.25, for instance. Okay. Uh, to 0. You know, 0.25. Okay. That's where I want to close this and all of that. And when this close, you see that instead of me closing in the negative, I'm closing in positive. All right. 
that is if i might have closed half of this position and all of that then after that i go ahead and click on confirm and that trade is set up okay then you can equally do your analysis inside the um you know the um um Binance platform okay instead of going to trading view and doing analysis there but i prefer trading view because you have more features here right you can equally do all of that here let's say i wanted to go long here i can use my long position too and say okay i'm entering a long trade when this market gets down here and i'm taking profit um up there okay and up there and then i'm putting my stop loss around that one percent plus and then you can see that this is a risk reward ratio of 1 to 2.7 right a risk reward ratio of 1 to 2.7 and if this thing plays that i'm in okay and then you put your stop loss wherever it is so this price there is your stop loss this one here is your uh, tp and the rest so with this setup that i have right here okay you see that my stop loss is 58 um you know 58649 okay but if we use this for this particular trade that i just set up right now you see that liquidation price will get liquidated at 58900 okay but if you want to use this as a stop loss your liquidation price will come before your stop loss all right so how do you solve this problem the only way you can solve it is to reduce your leverage so you come in here you can use a 20x leverage you can use a 50x leverage if i use 50x leverage then my liquidation price will go further meaning that i can risk one percent of whatever capital i'm entering that trade with and then take my profit another thing you should note is that if i use 50x leverage remember with the 100x leverage to buy 200 dollars worth of btc it costs us 1.96 okay now if i use a 50x leverage it's going to cost us more to buy 200 dollars worth of btc All right so if i go ahead and change this to 50x for instance Okay, so you can equally type or use the slider, then change the short option to, to 50x. All right, I go ahead and click on confirm. Now, once I click on confirm and I come in here to say that I want to enter this current price, for instance, and I'm buying $200 worth of um, BTC. Okay, right here where you see the margin. All right, so instead of 1.9, um, 96 is costing us this time around, it's costing 3.92. Right, so the lower the leverage, the higher the amount it will cost you to buy, let's say two hundred dollars worth of that particular asset you want to buy, okay. And then the higher the leverage, the lower the amount it will cost you, right? But once you get a short trade, when you get a short entry and all of that, you can use high leverage, okay, and use very small stop loss, and then with maybe bigger margin or smaller margin, it all depends on your preference. Okay, so if I still go ahead and enter this trade right here, you will see that the estimation liquidation price is here is 58. So you see that the liquidation price is going down, right? So it's 58,400 for long and then for uh, for short, it's around 6,300, all right, using isolated margin. So if I enter this trade with this $3 and I don't use stop loss, then I'm losing that $3 going forward, okay? I hope you understand all this that I've explained. Please, you need to take note because when you understand these things, it will keep you um, safe and then keep you from getting liquidated, keep you from losing money unnecessarily, okay? And always confirm your trades before jumping into them. Always confirm your trades before jumping into them, all right? So that's the more reason why you need to join my daily life, which I always have on Telegram and all of that. Join us. The link will be in the video description to learn more. That is it for this video. Once again, if you don't have an account with Bing as Exchange, use the link in the video description to sign up for an account and get all the way components all right that is it for this video guys and i'll see you in the next video